Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and it is Easter collab time and we are doing a 44 by 50 Easter bunny you probably saw it on the thumbnail and the collab is with Lizzie's World of Gems I don't know why I'm being so funny um, sounding I think it's because Lizzie has gotten to me um, this is from the pink raspberry just to get some um, stuff out of the way <sighs> let me grab a tray here oh my gosh my craft room is like coming alive on me it's growing seriously I was like I wish the space was growing not the stuff okay I digress. So Lizzie and I decided to do a collab together, an Easter collab. I'm so excited. She's an amazing collab department, um, collab partner, not collab department. <laughs> and we decided to go with the pink raspberry to support them. And this painting is normally $30, but the pink raspberry is offering it to anybody who desires to be in part of the collab that they can contact them through their Facebook and let them know they saw this painting through our YouTube video. And I need to get some more wax. And they will give you a f um, this for $25, guys. That's a huge savings. Um, and this is gorgeous. The drills are beyond exceptional. They're round. And you're going to get um, AB drills, you're going to get rhinestones, and you're going to get the normal DMC colors. It's charted beautifully. Um, Pink Raspberry did an amazing job. So just letting you know. Also, each video you are going to have an opportunity to be a finalist. And... At the end of the collab, we're going to do a drawing for my channel and a drawing for Lizzie's channel. And the winner will receive a $25 credit to the Pink Raspberry. Um, so they have graciously donated that for our collaboration. So I'll tell you a little bit later how to get involved and in, in that. Okay, so that's, yeah. That's all the instructions I have for the collab. Um, another fun thing is Lizzie and I kind of have gotten into a habit of asking each other questions and answering them on the other video. So please go check out my collab partner. You're going to love her. She's very nice. She's funny. She is just an amazing person being herself. So check her out. All right. So, what has been going on in my life? What has not been going on in my life? Um, as I mentioned in the DP or of the month video, if you watch that, um, I just mentioned it in passing. But the last two to three weeks, the struggle bus has hit me, gone in reverse, hit me again, gone forward, hit me again. And I'm just... Uh, like, seriously, stop it. Stop hitting me. <laughs> I don't want to have to pay my deductible. Um, and what I mean by the struggle bus is just, like, I don't know what's going on emotionally with me. I just feel like a sack of potatoes. I feel tired, exhausted, um... I know it's work. It's just compassion fatigue. It's, you know, we're trying to hire a new therapist, but yet nobody's really coming on board. And um, there's just such a shortage of mental health in the United States, but most a lot of it's in Michigan too. And so it's just, oh my goodness. And... <sighs> it's just really weighing on me and some of the stories and some of the things I just, it's crazy. It's crazy. And it got so bad guys that like I didn't diamond paint, which is 
what I do to help me regroup and get my depression anxiety under control for three days. I literally came home, pushed through and stayed awake through dinner and then laid on the couch and passed out for two hours. And then when my husband nudged me, I got up and went straight to bed. Like showering was a ch- is a chore was it still is uh eating normally I overeat when I'm stressed I'm not even stressed I'm just literally blah and so I haven't been eating for days um you know my husband's like what do you want for dinner I'm like I don't even know what food is it's just been crazy guys and I just I'm trying to pull myself out of it I'm trying to get there Um, so yeah, the, I totally get that the struggle is real. Um, I'm actually taking tomorrow off, which will be today by the time you watch this Thursday, just kind of as a mental health day. Um, I'm going to take my daughter to school and then I'm going to work on writing a little bit in my book, probably take a nap. Um, maybe go to the Dollar Tree. I see all these Dollar Tree hauls. Maybe go get myself in trouble. And, you know, instead of buying $50 to $100 worth of craft stuff, maybe I'll go to the Dollar Tree and buy $20. But I don't have any money, so I might just window shop. I'm so glad with this slash the stash. Um, I have plenty of diamond paintings, and I am cracking up at you guys in the Facebook groups who are talking about this um, coronavirus quarantine and how we have enough diamond paintings to last us through the quarantine. <laughs> it's fantastic. So, um, yeah, so don't get me wrong. I love my job. I just, I got nothing left, people, nothing left. And, um, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out how to fill my cup. Um, you know, I'm... I'm going to get there, right? I'm going to get there. One one day, one hour, one client, one situation at a time. Um, so my husband and I are saving up for a vehicle. Our van is on its last, literally last leg. Um, and so we were talking about the budget And I've been asking my husband for months and months and months. I've been saying, can you sit down with me and we go over the budget? And so finally, a couple nights ago, he's like, okay, I think I'm ready. I think I have everything all worked out. I'm like, okay. But then I hit the slump, right? And I can barely stay awake. And so when he nudges me, he's like all grumpalumpicus. And I'm like, what is going on? And he's like, you said that you were going to look at the budget tonight. And I'm like, I I can barely function. I'm like, I'm so sorry. What? I, I probably just screwed up. Okay. Who cares? It's still going to be pretty. Um. So I'm like. I'm so sorry. Like, I literally, my body was sabotaging me. Like, my brain, I was trying to fight so hard to keep my eyes open. And I was literally passing out. And so, um, he was upset. And so then I had to, like, be not a therapist, but be a wife and try to talk him down and not no, it wasn't me being disrespectful and I love you and you know different things like that and I love my husband he's amazing and he's so kind and considerate that when something like this happens I just feel horrible because he does so much um and he's so patient that you know I know that he really wants this vehicle because he works at home and so he gets stuck with the van and if he has to go pick up kiddo or has to run an errand like the van literally needs brakes it the oil lights constantly on the wheels need to be inflated every three to four days because there's something wrong with the sensor and um they keep losing air and it's just the driver's side window doesn't roll down at all anymore 
but it still runs. And so I'm from a family like, hey, we have one really like decent car where, you know, it's two years old. We bit the bullet and bought that car two years ago. And we have this car, which is the beater up car. And that's how I grew up. And he didn't. He grew up in a affluent family that didn't have to worry about that. And so, you know, through our whole marriage, just going back and forth on what does it mean to live this, this life and how to be, you know, good with our money and things like that. And so we did some refinancing a while, um, in December and it saved us X amount of dollars per month. And we've been putting that extra money into savings towards a vehicle, but we've also been able to breathe. We've been able to like actually buy a pizza and not have to, you know, switch some things around. We've been able to actually, you know, send gifts to some of our friends who, you know, were short on food and we were able, you know, so it was just one of those we were actually able to breathe, you know, and when he did the budget, it was taking us, yes, we could afford the car, but nothing else in our life could happen. Like we would be car broke. You sometimes you hear about like house poor because you can technically afford the house, but if anything went wrong, you'd be screwed. Well, that's what the budget would be. And I'm sitting there trying to be this rational person but yet dash his dreams and he had gone to the car show we had here. You know, we were in Michigan. There's a huge car show in Detroit and then they have a mini car show in Grand Rapids because we're the west side of the state. And so the car he wants, there was like a $500 credit he got and it was burning a hole in his pocket and so he wanted to purchase this car before the end of march and i'm just like you know when we were talking about it i was picturing august because that would give us a solid six to seven months of saving up getting a little bit of a cushion in case something went wrong we could pay out of pocket because we are getting out of debt and I don't want to go back in debt. And so he was just like, then we lose this $500. And I'm like, is it worth like, you know, in August, if something goes wrong and we don't have any money? No, like I'd rather lose the $500. And then we have a little bit of money in August if something goes wrong. And so he thought I was saying no car. And I'm like, I'm asking for three, I'm asking for four months, um, you know, this is your dream car. I said, let's put it on the calendar. Let's make a weekend of it. Like, this is the weekend we're going to go buy the car. I said, um, you know, this is, this is going to happen. <laughs> and he's like, well, then now we're going to have to put $3,000 into the van. And I was like, okay, no, we don't. Because then what's the purpose of saving up $3,000 over the summer and then you're going to throw it into the van no the van is on its last leg um you can have the buick anytime you want i said the brakes are fine we're only using it I th we're only using it like twice a week and it's literally just to go pick up our daughter from school on a day that i work late because there's two days a week that i work till seven and so he goes and picks her up from the after school care um, when he gets off work at five. So two days a week, he uses the van. The rest of the time, because he works from home, we use the, the car. And when he has to run out, he, you know, he has the car because I just come straight home. So I'm like, we can live like that for three to four months. You're fine. I said, <laughs> And if you're really concerned, you can have the Buick whenever you want, and I'll drive the van. I literally work down the street. So if the van dies, I can always walk home. And he's like, so 
I was already exhausted because of the work issues if you were listening to the live and then sitting here trying to like not dash his dreams but be like the rational person which I get like look at my diamond painting I get it you know I get that he's like will you get to do your diamond painting and I don't say anything and I'm like you're you're right you know I said however I have a in our budget $30 a month towards crafting and so you know sometimes I do fall out of budget and you know I apologize and have my tail between my legs and you know all that kind of stuff and give up some other things that I have in my budget you know like going out with friends or things like that so that it makes up for it I said and you've never had to give up on you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, you always get to go out with your guy friends, you get to go to the movies, you, I mean, it's not like he doesn't get to do things, I said, but purchasing a car, a brand new car, you know, that's an SUV, I said, that's a lot different than a $30 diamond painting, you know, we're committing for five years to X amount of dollars per month or six years for X amount of dollars per month. I said, I, you know, with the adoption, I said, what if the adoption goes through? And I hope it does. If I have to wait another six years, that's another reason why I'm just so discouraged, guys. Just 21 families have looked at our profile in three years and 21 families have either chosen to keep the child and parent themselves or have chosen a different family and just that level of what I feel is rejection is just oh <sighs> and then we have to meet with our do another home study update next week so that marks the beginning of the fourth year like officially so it's just all these markers and just different things it's just exhausting and so finally we came to an agreement where he understood, you know, this is not me putting off the car so that I change my mind. Like he, this is his dream car. This is one that he's picked out. He's test driven. He knows what color he wants. Our good friend's father is, it's a Subaru. Our good friend's father is a Subaru dealer. So he's getting us a good deal. Um, plus, we're helping him with his commission, you know, because we're bringing service to him. And, you know, we set a date this summer, like this is when we're going to go get it because it's the person who's selling it to us is about three hours away. Um, but it's a good enough deal that it's worth driving there. So, you know, we set the weekend, we're going to go spend the night there, we're going to, you know, really make it like, this is your car. You know, this is something that you've been saving up for. You deserve it. And so I, th I hope he feels better about it. I hope he doesn't see me as the bad guy anymore. Because I do not like being the bad guy. Like, I, he deserves so much. I would give him the world if I could. And, um, but I also have to, at times, be that rational person because... We've just been in debt for so long and I can't live like that anymore. It's just so stressful. Um, anytime a bill comes to be like, can we pay it this month? And I'm just, you know, he and I work so hard. I work like 50 hours a week to 60 hours a week sometimes. And it's like, I should be able, you know, to buy a soda without having to feel guilty about it. So we're saving up for a car. We're still saving up for the adoption process. It's so expensive. And the minute, you know, a family does say, hey, you know, we've chosen you, we have to like give the agency $14,000. So, oh my goodness, guys. Oh. Where are we going to find? We have um, 9000 saved up. It's taken us three years. but So that's another reason that I'm like, let's, let's keep saving. Let's keep saving. And so, yeah. 
And then it burns a hole in your pocket, right? Because you, you see it in the bank account and you're like, oh yeah, we have, we could put $9,000 on a down payment of a car. And you're like, no, that's for baby Roberts. So, ugh. Anyway, like I said, the struggle bus, the struggle bus. I know, I'm sorry. You guys are probably rolling your eyes, but that's my life. That's my life. Um... So, anyway, daughter soccer, still going well, still doing indoor. Um, we have like three more weeks of indoor, and then at the end of April, we move into outdoor. This particular coach decided only to do one tournament this year, and because of that, the soccer season's pretty short. There's like six games instead of eight. And there's um, one tournament instead of two. So, and it's a, it's only an hour away tournament instead of across state. And so we won't have to spend the money on a hotel. We can just drive down on Saturday, stay the day, do the games, drive back, sleep, drive back down on Sunday and finish up the tournament. So... Our daughter's disappointed because she really loves like going out of town and having like that hotel stay time with friends and you know things like that but I think she'll get over it. We've got some other fun things planned for her that were like hey instead of spending a thousand it's literally almost a thousand dollars because you have to pay like a hundred or a hundred and fifty dollars for the tournament itself because it's not in your league fees and then usually you're spending two nights in a hotel because you're first thing Saturday and first thing Sunday. And most of the time it's in places like Traverse City or places where the hotels are 200 to $300 a night. And then you've got food, right? Um, so Friday night food, all day Saturday food, and then usually Sunday food. And you've got gas, and we have to then get a dog sitter, which, um, so yeah, it ends up for a two and a half day time span. It's almost, it's unreal. It's anywhere from 600 to to $1,000. Yeah. So that's crazy, right? <laughs> um, so this way, it's literally $60 for the tournament and then only food day of. So it's, I'm just breathing a sigh of relief. <sighs> I told her this travel soccer, the reason she got in it, she's blessed is because she's an only child. And I told her now she's going to have to really work at, does she want it? Like, I'm so tired of saying, have you done your running? Um, cause during indoor, they have one practice a week and she gets very, our body type <laughs> is a little thicker. And so, um, if she's, is it sedentary, sedimentary? I don't know. I probably just butchered that, but, um, it's like, you need to do your running, like on the treadmill, you need to go run your your time and she rolls her eyes and then waits forever and then it's an argument I'm like look I am paying x amount of dollars for you to be in this league you say you want to be in this league and you need to you know she's at the point where tryouts mean something um because they will say no to you and so I'm like you're you need that stamina but I know she's 12 and I'm just like, do I keep asking her, you know, I'm not pressuring you. This is something you have to want. Do you still want to do this? Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Okay. But she's such a good, good daughter. She's got good grades, good attitude. She loves everybody. She's just a true blessing. So, Lizzie, you asked me some questions, and I would love to answer them for you. Um, it's so funny because of me being on the struggle bus, Lizzie, that um, you got to the point of, you know, asking 
the subscribe our subscribers, all of you guys who are listening, um, you know, their question. I'm like, crap, like, did I even ask Lizzie a question? Like, I can't even remember. And then you're like, and then Jennifer asked me this question. I'm like, oh, yay, I did ask her a question. <laughs> I'm so out of it, peeps. So out of it. So, um, let's see. Let me see if I can remember what you asked me. You asked me about, oh my gosh, you just left my head. Um, oh gosh, Lizzie, help me. What did you ask me? Oh my goodness, it's out of my head. Okay, I'm going to keep talking and it'll come back to me. Okay, so my question for you guys to answer down in the comments, and this is how you get entered in to the drawing to be a finalist. Now, when I last did drawings for my Christmas, people were a little confused, okay? So if your name is drawn tonight or today or whenever you're watching it, it means you are a finalist to the grand prize. It doesn't mean you won the grand prize tonight. It just means that your name is in the running for the prize. So I just wanna let you guys know that. Um, so the question I have for you is, um, let me see here. Hmm, what's a good question? Hmm. See, I had this all planned out when I was in the car and then I get in front of you guys and it's like stage fright, stage fright. <sighs> okay. Um, let's see here. <laughs> it had to do with a number. You guys were going to put a number down. I'm, I'm just verbally processing. You guys are seeing what I normally do. Um, all right, I'm just going to make up one because it's going to drive me nuts. You guys are going to be like, Jen, stop it. Okay. What? How many diamond paintings do you have in your stash? So I am participating in a slash the stash. And I would like to know how many diamond paintings you have in your stash. Now, too many to count does not count. You've got to estimate that. You can say too many to count, but I think I have 70 or too many to count. I think I have two um, or 100. Um, you have to at least put a number. It has to be numeral or a spelled out number. Okay, so... Um, you're going to tell me how many you have in your stash. Now, I know some of you are new diamond painters, or I know some of you um, are just starting out. So maybe you're like, I have one in my stash. Not a problem. You can just comment, you know, hey, I'm new to diamond painting. Um, I just finished my first one. Or, you know, Something like that, all right? So that, that will be okay for those of you who are sitting there going, I wish I had a stash, okay? And a stash is any number of diamond paintings that you have beyond the current one you're working on. So if you have one diamond painting that you're working on and one diamond painting that's in its box still or on the shelf still, that's considered one in your stash, so um, have fun with it. Let me know how many are in your stash. Okay. Let's go ahead and, well, I didn't have very many C's, did I? Lizzie, I love when you say what letter or number you're going to be working on because I totally am like, oh, I know that color or I just did that color. 
I love it. I love it. Thank you for doing that. I know you don't do it on purpose, but it helps me feel like I'm collabing away with you. So, all right. Any more A's hiding? Probably, but we'll leave it like that. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to my computer while you guys just, like, chill like a villain over there. And I'm going to pull up last week's drill with me and see what we can do with this random comment picker so we can be, have our finalist. Okay. Random, random comment picker. Do, 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 do. Okay. Move my computer over here so you guys can see it. To believe it. We Okay. Here we go. So we've got up here. These are all my videos. Here is week one. So we are going to click on that. And we're going to... Oh, we have to actually click on it. I'm a lake okay. So share, copy, and we're going to go over to this random comment picker. I'm going to filter out duplicates. So we're going to get YouTube comments. So we have 18. And we're going to scroll down here and we're going to do start. <laughs> Lena's crafting room. She says... I really like the painting that you did for Valentine's with Mindy. That was the cutest. The painting I want to, I'm working on. I want a custom of all my pets. I have three dogs and a cat, and so far I've gotten one cat in, one dog done. Well, Lena, you are the first finalist. I'm going to put you guys back down here without flashing my amazing messiness. You are the first finalist for the Easter collab, so congratulations for my channel. Um, I'm so glad that you have that as an opportunity. And I'm just, I'm gonna pause you right now and I'm gonna go see what Lizzie wanted, okay? So I'll be right back. Hey everyone, okay, I'm back. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. As soon as I saw what she asked, I'm like, duh. <laughs> Thank you for your millisecond patience. Um, and Lizzie, I hope that cracked you up that I was like crazy not remembering what you asked me. Okay, so Lizzie asked me um, what my favorite thing to do in the spring is. Well, one of the things I like to do is um, watch my daughter play soccer. You know, just it's cold in Michigan in the spring and just bundling up and wearing a sweatshirt and a coat and sipping hot chocolate or hot coffee and cheering her on from the sidelines. Um, I do not like to garden, OMG. Um, I don't have a brown thumb, I have a black thumb. A plant looks at me, grows legs and runs because they have heard rumors that I kill plants. So yeah, it's, it's crazy. I actually wish uh, I like to garden. My mother loves to garden, but my, yeah, it's, it's not good people. It is not, not good. Um, so I don't do the gardening thing. Um, I do like plants. I like to have them. Um, I have some perennials that grow up each year. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Sorry, I keep moving you. I have you plugged in, and so here's the cord. So every time I move forward, I pull on the cord. But you guys were running out of battery. You were tired just like I am. Um, and the other question she asked was, we're gonna do some L's. I gotta find the L's. 
um, was, is there a company that I would like to try that I haven't tried before? I actually would love to try Craftably. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Mindy is an affiliate with Mindy's Diamond Moments. Um, so that's kind of like next on my list to try. Um, yeah, because I really can only get about one diamond painting a month. Um, sometimes I cheat like I talked about earlier and get more. Um, like I did with the Dreamer design, I had to actually give up some other things in my life in order to get that one, but I hope it's going to be worth it. Um, so yeah, that's Craftably is who I would like to try next. I haven't tried them, um, so I think they're up and coming. Um, I really wanted to try Crystal, I mean, I really wanted to try Tr Crystal canvas.usa with Amy Reed and so I was able to try that and I've absolutely loved um that was my orange Gerber daisy and then I'm also doing another collab which you guys will see shortly um starting in April and I'm using one of her canvases for that as well um another one that I wanted to try that I was able to try was this, the pink raspberry. So a lot of times I'll use my collabs because it's an excuse <laughs> to try a new company. There's purpose behind it. And then you guys can also be introduced to it as well because I'm actually doing it. I'm not just opening it up, unboxing it, showing it to you. Um, due to time restraints, I can only do so much diamond painting. And so, um, yeah, so that's that. So yeah, I'd like to try them. Um, and I just think it's so funny, these questions going back and forth. Thank you for answering. Right now I have, Lizzie was saying how many she has going. I have this one going. I have my snack one going for the Slash the Stash 2020. And then I'm about ready to start another collab one for April, but I'm doing some of the videotaping in March. Um, just to kind of get ahead and so that'll be a third one and then I do have another one that I gave up on that I just didn't like and so I haven't done it so but in the back of my head I'm like ah it's still there so um but normally two is kind of my limit but with the collabs I'm going to end up having four going which will be one for each of the collabs and then the my own painting if I choose for my slash the stash series um so yeah I know that's the question I asked her but I thought I'd answer it as well um so Lizzie where did that come from I put a drill down and it picked a drill up that wasn't the same color as I was putting down that was strange all right so we'll put that over here um, what do I have for Miss Lizzie to ask you? Um, <laughs> okay, so you mentioned in your whip and chat that you are struggling with your job and what you like right now. What, what job would you want if you could have any job? What would be kind of your, I like getting out of bed and going to work type of job? That's my first question for you. And my second question, and you made me blush. Oh my goodness, Lizzie. Just thank you for your encouragement. That, that was just... I, I didn't ask for it, but just thank you so much. You are so amazing yourself. I'm so excited to be doing this collab with you and have just been having so much fun. And I hope you're having just as much fun as I am. And um, thank you for your kind, sweet words. I appreciate it. Um, so my next question for you 
is you're saying that you like to watch TV while you diamond paint and you have your pull up you know table and your cushions what do you watch when you diamond paint when you're not videotaping like what is your guilty pleasure you know, true confession time. I remember when Desperate Housewives was on, that was kind of my guilty pleasure. I didn't really tell people I watched it because it was like soap opera-esque, you know, a little bit risque, different things like that. Um, so that was kind of, and it used to be Grey's Anatomy was my guilty pleasure as well. Um, however, I no longer watch it since they killed off the McDreamy character. And it's not because I was attached to him. It was just too much change. Like so much change was going on rapidly. And I'm like, I, I'm so stressed in my own life. I don't, I want to watch something where there's not um, so much change going on. There's certain types of drama. Like right now I'm binge watching Criminal Minds. Yeah, that's too psychological. Maybe that's why I'm down in the dumps sometimes. But um, there's there's that, but then there's like that interpersonal drama and I, I couldn't deal with it anymore. And my job that I had, not the current one, but the one I was in when that was all happening was way too much um, backstabbing and, and just fend for yourself. And I'm like, I can't watch that kind of thing as well on TV. But I want to know, Lizzie, what is your guilty pleasure? Um, so not only what do you watch, but like what you kind of, you know, secretly enjoy, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, um, you know, like I secretly enjoy Desperate Housewives. I secretly enjoy, you know, like The Office and Big Bang and you know, different things like that. And so, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you. And I'm going to warn you, Lizzie, the next one that I do, I'm going to have would you rather questions. So I'll be asking, um, basically what I'll be doing is not, I will be, I stole this off of you, Mindy. I'm so sorry, but it was a great idea with you and Maritza. Um, but I will be doing would you rather questions, but answering them how I think you, Lizzie, would answer them. So, you know, would you rather eat pickles or would you rather eat salami? And then I'd be like, well, Lizzie, I think, would rather eat salami. No, I'm just joking. I don't know what she would rather eat. But, um... And then I'm going to shoot it back over to you and the like maybe five or six would you rather questions I answered on your behalf, you would let me know how right or wrong I was. Um, so yeah, that's what I hope to do next time with you. And don't worry, I'll send you the would you rather questions um, in Messenger so that you don't have to be like me and go back and watch the video again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much. My family is on their way home, so I'm going to call it good. And um, yeah, Lizzie, I am not that much further than you. I <laughs> This is all I have done. It's not even a fourth done. So girl, you're fine. You're good to go. Um, so yeah, um, I love you all. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, I'd love to have you as part of our family. And until next time, be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.